Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have some very interesting news. So until recently, or probably a few weeks ago, if someone asked you which is the best processor from Intel, you'd probably uh, you'd probably answer to them an Intel Core i7. But the news I have today are here to tell you that this is not right. So yes guys, Intel is releasing the Intel Core i9 processor. So if you remember a few days ago we talked about the Skylake X and the Kaby Lake X processors but we didn't have any valid information about the Skylake X ones and we didn't have any SKUs, any names to talk about, nothing basically. And here I am today to confirm that the Skylake X processors are, are going to be named Intel Core i9 and are going to be a part of the X299 chipset and of course they're gonna be the highest end processors that Intel has ever released. So let's talk about the SKUs that are going to be released. Of course we have the Kaby Lake X processors, the i7 7640K and the i7 7740K for the i7 uh, 7640K we're not sure about that yet it might even be uh, called an i5 uh, 7640K anyways performance is not gonna be changed so we don't care about that and then we have the Skylake X processors that are said to be released a bit later after the Cave Lake X ones so as you can see here we have the 7800X uh, going way up to the uh, 7900X and the 7920X which is going to be the highest end model of those uh, four CPUs so we have as you can see all of those models have the X uh, at the end of those so it is probably there to show that they are part of the extreme platform uh, from uh, Intel so uh, the i9 7920X is obviously going to be the replacement for the King 6950X from Intel right now and it's going to be featuring 12 cores and 24 threads. This is, I mean, this is huge. I, I have nothing to say about that. 12 cores and 24 threads for, these, uh, for the i9 7920X. Uh, clock speeds, we don't know anything about that now, but I would properly say that since the 7900X uh, is clocked at 3.3 and turbo is up to 3.3 uh, with turbo uh, 2.0 and 4.5 with 3.0 which is a very important feature because this one is going to take the CPUs a bit higher so with uh, turbo clock 3.0 so I would say it will be probably around the same or even uh, up to 4.8, 4.9, who knows, we'll see when it's uh, released of course. And uh, as you can see guys, all of those CPUs, ex except for the Cable Lake uh, X1s of course, are 140 watts, but I, uh, I can't really get it because these two ones, the 7900X and the 7920X, are set to have a TDP of 160 watts right here, and I think that it is a bit more logical if you think of it. And probably that's a mistake they have done here in the diagram. So yeah, let's get going. Now we have the 7800X, which is going to be the lowest end one. And it's going to be featuring 6 cores and 12 threads. Very good processor for anyone. And then we have the, 78, the 7820X, which has 8 cores and 16 threads. So that's going to be... Uh, going against the 7900K and we have the 7900X uh, which is of course going to be the replacement of the uh, said 7900K with 10 cores and 20 threads and that's huge guys I have nothing to say so uh, about uh, L3 cache will have 8.25 for the 7800X 11 for the 7820X and then 13, 75 and 16 for the highest end model and of course we're gonna have uh, quad channel DDR4 memory supported as usual so 
nothing new there and guys you might be asking when are those processors going to be released first of all uh, since this these inform this information is uh, really new and we don't know lots of stuff about it the only thing I can tell you about now is that uh, what I, I can read here which says they will start uh, it will be released around June and the highest end model is going to be shipping uh, will be ready to buy at uh, probably August this year and consider that Computex uh, is around the corner so probably Intel wants to release them this time around so yeah this is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to click the like button below subscribe to my channel and I will hopefully see you guys all in the next one bye